for eternity. Hello, dear viewers. How are you all doing? Today's video will be about Nightmare. The arch nemesis of Doctor Strange is the evil ruler of the Dream Dimension. I'm Andrew Lapamardo, your host, and this is Marvelous Videos. At times, our subconscious digs out our worst fears and causes us to experience terrible nightmares. Waking up from these terrors, we are always relieved to find out that it was just a dream and that it could have been a lot worse. But what if it was, indeed, a lot more terrifying? Imagine your worst dreams turning to reality as you are forced to live through it. Posing as a literal personification of nightmares, this supervillain brings out one's own worst fears and nightmares to life and uses them as a torture weapon. Nightmare, the frightening ruler of the realm within the dream dimension, was created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, and first appeared in Strange Tales number 110, which was also the first appearance of his enemy, Doctor Strange. Although Nightmare is primarily associated with Doctor Strange, he has a long track record of torturing countless individuals within the comics. Nightmare might be defeated, but he can never be completely annihilated. He will manage to keep his abilities for as long as there are dreams, and dreamers exist in the universe. As a result, this supervillain was regarded as a god, and he recruited a swarm of followers. These followers served as his guards, and even carried out his orders to some extent. With his demonic appearance, lifeless eyes, and long hair that was originally green but subsequently transformed to black, Nightmare dons a fitting green suit with a cape and explores the realm using his demonic horse, Dreamstalker. The figure lurks in the darkness and depths of our nightmares, and has long been regarded as one of Marvel Comics' most fearsome villains. Fingers crossed, we eagerly hope to see more of him on the big screen soon. Before we go into our explanation, we have a small request of you. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. Lord of Dreams, Nightmares Origin, Explored. So, where did this villain originate from? Nightmare's origins, much like the other Fear Lords, remains a mystery, and a few know anything about his origins, or even his existence. The Fear Lords were creatures who dwelled in others' fears, and obtained their power through them. Nightmare was not only a conceptual entity, a part of all existence, but also considered to be a deity. Like the Dweller in Darkness, the Nightmare was born in the Alm Realm. However, the Dweller soon followed the way of the Shamblu, and severed his head to exist only in physical form. Consequently, he turned his back on his fellow dwellers, and then tried to seek contact with Nightmare, who he considered to be his cousin, as they were from the same realm. Nightmare did not want to be related to him after knowing his origins. In the dweller's eyes, it was the Nightmare who had humiliated himself by taking on his form and living in exile in the lower universes. In his early years, Nightmare controlled the Nightmare Realm, which was one of the many splinter realms that formed the Dream Dimensions. The splinter realms were overlooked by the Lords of the Splinter, who conducted gatherings only twice in the span of the 47,000 years that preceded the modern age. It is unclear if Nightmare contributed to the gatherings, or was even a member of this overlooking parliament. His skills of extracting one's fears and worst nightmares and wielding them as tools of torture made him one of the most powerful beings across all the realms. Of course, his power caused him to have many enemies. That included the denizens from the neighboring realms, a monster by the name of Google that is always awake as well as his own personal hell of a nightmare, Nit. To fight off these enemies, Nightmare had his own group of army that included Dogarel, Succubus, a group of Hanon tramps who killed people in their sleep, as well as a Silurian guard with a captain that guarded the gates of his cathedral. He also joined forces with the Shuma Gorath 
to pursue his own goals. Around 800 years ago, he even fathered a demoness daughter, Dream Queen. Since Nightmare uses his powers of possession over other beings, it is deemed that this resulted from him raping the demoness Zilla Shah. Years later, he meddled even in his daughter's schemes on Earth. His mischief on Earth was not just limited to that, as he was also known for being present during major historical events and disrupting historical figures' lives by giving them nightmares. Some of these included him giving Marie Antoinette a nightmare while she was awaiting trial in 1792, forcing her to live through the Siege of Versailles again and again. He even caused President Abraham Lincoln's nightmares for months on end during the 19th century, transporting him to the graves of the troops he ordered to their deaths during the American Civil War. He continued to wreak havoc, even in the modern age. Once a young Peter Parker and his Uncle Ben were attacked while they were fishing, which was proven to be a bad dream. Later, as Peter was about to fall asleep again, Nightmare resurfaced and proceeded to feast on his nightmares. When Stan Lee struck him using a sports racket and caused him to flee. For years, the Nightmare even tortured the Hulk with horrors in his nightmares. On more than one instance, the Nightmare had possessed male bodies and used them as a vessel to impregnate women, thus fathering many hybrid offsprings who wander on the face of the earth. Carl, a worshipper of the Nightmare and a member of his cult, once willingly let the Nightmare use his body as a vessel to sleep with Naomi, another cult member. When Naomi ran away from the cult, the Nightmare let her wander away with the intent of letting his offspring live amongst human. The child was born, named Terence Ward, possessed abilities to shapeshift into a person's worst nightmares. The villain also claimed to have a daughter, Daydream, who was conceived by him and the Hulk's deceased wife, Betty Ross, when he entered her dreams and sexually assaulted her. According to some legends, Daydream's existence resulted from him seducing a mortal woman in her sleep. Nightmare's encounter with his nemesis, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange was among his first opponents in the modern era. When Nightmare plagued the dreams of a dishonest businessman, Doctor Strange shows up and they end up fighting. Strange ends up invading his nightmares, and the villain manages to lock him inside the dreams, leaving his physical form exposed. Fearful that Strange will discover the truth about his crimes and reveal it to the world. Nightmare then tries to kill him. However, Strange was about to leave Nightmare's dimension due to the assistance of the Ancient One. In order to defeat his nemesis and conquer the Earth Realm, Nightmare began capturing individuals in their dreams with the intention of discovering how to beat Doctor Strange and the Ancient One. Alas, his plan did not succeed as Strange managed to free the hostages before the situation worsened. Blade of what makes Nightmare so dangerous? Nightmare can be labeled as a class three demon with the power to capture an individual's astral form as they slept. He'd then drag his victims to the Nightmare Realm in which he would torture them in any manner he deemed fit. Since a majority of the people were uninformed of this supervillain's existence, it made it easier for him to torture his victims. Nightmare's ultimate ambition was to bring the entire waking world into his domain. He also possessed the ability to be omnipresent, which helped him capture his victims' astral forms without any detection. However, he can only prey on beings who are asleep and his powers would cease to exist if everyone stopped dreaming. As this cannot happen, so he can never be defeated or destroyed. He was also deemed an immortal being. He could also take strength from the psychic energy of dreaming in individuals' minds and has the ability to forcibly enter other people's minds. In this manner, he could assume control over their physical form, which is also how he fathered some of his offspring. However, this exploitation of the women was non-consensual, since the men were unable to control their physical bodies. In one instance, the Nightmare also assumed control over the Hulk's body during his unstable phase, 
and caused him to go on violent sprees. The Nightmare lacked somewhat in his fighting skills, but he more than made up for it with his intelligence. Moreover, he had a surprisingly large amount of core strength and durability and even an army of succubi, lower beings in his dimension, to help him in physical fights. He could summon these fighters or even use his horse, Dreamstalker. He also wields a weapon in the form of a wand, Mystical Prod, that can create an inescapable maze. In the comics, Nightmare has been depicted as powerful enough to fight off two earthly demigods, one eternal and an elder god, through his powers and his magic skills. Besides extracting one's worst fears from their minds and bringing them to life, Nightmare can also cast illusions, teleport as a means of travel, and use magic as well as possess his bodies, making him a fearsome opponent in any fight. Nightmare, rumored villain of Doctor Strange 2. The producers of Doctor Strange have discussed introducing the Nightmare as a villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe on previous occasions. Scott Derrickson, director of Doctor Strange, has also mentioned his interest in including Nightmare and exploring the dream dimension in further movies, which only further intensifies the rumors. As it adds up, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness is slated to be Marvel's first steps in the horror genre. Since Doctor Strange has been this supervillain's nemesis in the comics, one can surely expect his character to be incorporated into the timeline and finally get a role on the big screen. Of course, there is no official announcement regarding Nightmare's appearance in the film, but we have good reason to hope for it. See, I've changed the rules. Dreamers! <laughs> Versions of Nightmare in various forms of media. The Nightmare pops up in various media and can be spotted in television shows and video games of the Marvel Universe. A version of Nightmare, voiced by Jim Parsons, appeared on the Superhero Squad show in an episode titled Blind Rage Knows No Color. Nightmare is also seen in the Strange Days episode of the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show, where Mark Hamill, known for voicing the Joker in various DC projects, and some silly space movie, lent his voice for this villain's character. Besides television, Nightmare also makes an appearance in the Marvel Superhero Squad, the Infinity Gauntlet video game, wherein he is once again voiced by Jim Parsons. Here, the Nightmare fights against the Hulk and the She-Hulk over ownership of the Mind Infinity Gem. This supervillain also appears in the Lego Marvel Superheroes, where he is voiced by Greg Sipes and wreaks havoc at a circus performance and sends the crowd in a frenzy. He ends up fighting against the Ghost Rider, who defeats him along with a helping hand from Hawkeye, Black Widow, and the Iceman. I, Nightmare, Master of Nightmares, will help you. Conclusion. Though not as widely known as other Marvel villains, Nightmare is quite a menace. One does not want to fall on his radar and find themselves living their worst fears and nightmares. This villain is not going away anytime soon, and as long as there are dreams for him to feed on, he's here to stay. We can't wait to see the terror he unleashes in the future as we hope for his appearance in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness or any upcoming projects. Sweet dreams! And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and smashing that bell icon up in the corner if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone. We're friends. I'll be waiting. <laughs>